Atlanta Hawks. And one of the games was against the Boston Celtics, and it sold out, but it was all Celtic fans. So it was basically another home game for the Celtics. And back then, wherever they went, it was like that. Bird got his own, and he started calling his shots. Uh, he started saying off the glass. You know. That was the one game that I think he tortured Dominique. Uh, uh, he saw Dominique as an up-and-coming player, and, and he just tortured him mentally. That game. He tortured all of them. Uh, he was calling shots off the glass. Who's next? Where do you want this one from? Uh, and he just made one after another. Uh, when he got to about the 55th point, <laughs> you knew it was something special. Even uh, as a player, and that usually doesn't happen, but we were down so much at the time, you had time to realize the game. And uh, his last shot, he said, uh, in the trainer's lap, coming down the court. Uh, which meant it was going to be a three and it was going to be off of these. And then he said, who wants it? And I think Ricky Brown, I'm not for sure who it was, ran out after him. And he shot this high rainbow. Uh, it goes in. Ricky bumps into him and accidentally knocks him on our trainer's lap. So it was exactly what he said. It was, it was an accident, but it was almost fate. And they show a shot of our bench. Cliff Livingston uh, and Eddie Johnson are standing up giving each other high five. It was pretty awesome. That night was not awesome. We had to go back to the room and Mike Fratello, uh, instead of going out to eat, he had a team meet and he put the film in. And he says, it's one thing to be in awe, it's another thing to cheer for the other team. And he showed this back and forth. He kept rewinding the high five. Uh, it was awesome.